welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, I'm Katie and I am a mum of three. On my channel, I film videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. I upload every single Sunday, so I would love it if you subscribed so that you can get an alert every Sunday when a video goes live. Now today is something a little bit different. It's something that has been requested over and over and over again through my Instagram messages. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am embracing my curls. Now I have to just say I am on day five, so I washed my head five days ago now so they have dropped slightly and obviously I've slept on it and they're not looking great but you know mum life but I'm embracing my my natural wave I would say I'm a wavy girl uh, more than a curly girl um and I am following the curly girl method and so many people have come out and gone oh my child has really frizzy hair I know they've got natural curls how do you do it how do you do it have you got a post that you would recommend and I have recommended Donna's post I'm going to post that down below so that you can go over there as well because her post was without a doubt the best one I found for getting started but I wanted to do it my style via video so that you know exactly how to get going. If you've got straight hair this won't be the video for you but if you've got a curly child in your life or you think do you know what I have got waves I want to see what might happen you might want to just carry on watching to see how my hair transforms. So like this is relatively straight for me and by the end of the video you will see the crazy crazy curls that go on. So a lot of the posts out there make it seem really complicated so hopefully this will show you it's actually quite simple. First up, swap out your shampoo. You will never use shampoo ever again. Instead, weirdly, you're gonna wash your hair in conditioner. The reason is, is to wash your hair is actually just washing out some grime. You can do that just by massaging your scalp and then it just rinses away and the conditioner lets the grime just slip away. There are groups you can join and I will link them down below that list out the products that are suitable for this but the main thing you need to cut out are products that have got silicones and sulfides. This is the one that I use is the Garnier Ultimate Blends and it is the Sleek Restorer with coconut oil and you will notice at the bottom it says silicone free. That is the key point because silicone, imagine clear nail varnish on your nails. Silicone is a little bit like that. It makes your hair look all sleek and lovely but actually you're coating those curls. So you're going to swap out your shampoo and add in this. Once you have washed out all of that conditioner, so you, you're putting it on like a shampoo, rinsing it all out like a shampoo except it's conditioner, then you have two options. The first option is something that I will probably do once a month, okay? So this isn't a, a every week thing or every couple of days thing, however frequently you wash your hair, you will notice you won't have to wash it as often. Uh, this is like once a month. I will put this on my hair. It is the Ultimate Blend 3-in-1 Hair Mask. I will put that on my hair quite thick and basically when you've got curls they are thirsty and you need to let them drink up all the moisture from the conditioner. So you put this on and I will pop on a shower cap over the top to just hold it all in and let my hair absorb all of that moisture. I'll leave it on for about 15 minutes. You could put it on at the beginning of a shower, then, you know, shave your legs and do whatever, and then rinse it all off and, and just rinse it all away again. Now, on a normal day, you wouldn't do that. So you would wash your hair in conditioner and then you would go straight to a leave-in conditioner. So you've washed your hair with a conditioner, but then you've rinsed it all away. Then you are going to put in a leave-in conditioner. I've actually... I'm going to do this maybe every other time because because my hair is wavy it doesn't need this but if you're curly you will so it's the ultimate blends leave-in conditioner and this is the almond crush so if you've got really curly hair the thirstier it'll be mine is a wavy so it's not as thirsty so I wouldn't necessarily do this every time I would just wash it and then skip to the next step but if you've got curls and your hair is really dry definitely put in a leave-in conditioner. The next stage is my favourite bit, it is the custard and this is the thing that will activate those curls. So I use the Cantu Define and Shine Custard. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a 50p size blob in your hand and then you're going to do something called praying hands and you'll see it in posts that you read about it, praying hands. It's basically running it down your hair. So if you're standing up you'll do it that way. If you're 
washing it over then you, you know you'll lean to the side and do it like that um and you're just running it through and then another 50 p's worth on the other side so that all of the strands are coated in a praying style and it's helping them to sort of group together in the natural curl clumps importantly you do that when your hair is still soaking then this is the fun bit you will scrunch your hair up so you will get the hair and you will scrunch it up like that with the custard and you will hear the squelch because your hair's soaking and it's got the custard in it and you will hear your hair squelching and squelching and squelching as it helps to define these curls. After you've done that, you'll have squelched out so much liquid as you've scrunched and scrunched and scrunched, your hair will start to take shape. Now, if you were just to go off and, and leave it to dry now, they would start to fall out. So this is critical. The final stage of your curly girl method journey is your curl jelly. This is the Umberto Giannini um, scrunching jelly. And what you do is you get a big blob full, a big blob be generous because I'll tell you why in a minute it doesn't matter but a big blob full and you're going to re-scrunch so you're not going to smooth it through I, I did try doing that I didn't find that work and I just re-scrunch where I've just previously done you might need some more put another blob in and really be generous and scrunch all of that hair back up again and what will happen is this jelly will harden as your hair dries. Very important, don't play with your hair because it will break up the curls. So you have to leave it to dry. You can either dry it naturally, which if you've got all day to do it, dry it naturally and you'll see, you'll feel like your hair is still wet or you'll look like it's still wet, but it's actually just the gel and it goes rock hard. If you are short on time, you can use a diffuser and I got this one. I'll link it uh, down below. I got this off Amazon and as long as your hair dryer is tapered up like that, it's not like a straight barrel out the front as long as it's tapered, this one does nicely and I will just dry it like that. Once your hair is dead dry and the, hair, the gel has gone really, really hard, then you can scrunch out the crunch and that is really satisfying because it's so crunchy and horrible and then you scrunch it out and you are left with these amazing curls which I will show you at the end and that's it basically so I'm going to recap and show you as I go along step one wash with conditioner if you're watching this video because you're going to do it on your child I would swap out this for this. This is the Child's Farm Conditioner. Um, I got mine from Boots, so I'll link that down below as well. And it's a really big bottle, it'll last you ages, but it's kinder for children's hair. A monthly mini step, hair mask. Optional step, if you have got really curly hair, leave-in conditioner. Next step, I've lost count now, styling custard. also do a kids styling jelly but I've been using this one on Lily and it's been absolutely fine but if you're worried about their hair there is a children's version of this final step jelly the scrunching jelly I'm hoping I've left it long enough. Um, it's pretty much dry, but I need to get this filmed before I can go and get the girls. Um, so I use my diffuser and now, I mean, I don't know if you can, it, it's not wet. This is the cast that has been formed around the curls. So the curls were formed because of the custard and then the gel holds those curls in place goes hard so that they dry in place now as you can see mine aren't like fully fully curls this is called an s wave i have no idea the different types of curls but what i will say is your hair will get curlier and curlier and curlier as 
the year goes on as time goes on so this is more curly than when I started um, basically because my hair is be becoming more nourished more hydrated and just cared for and it's it's not being coated in chemicals so before I do the big decrunch uh, reveal I thought I would just talk to you about the aftercare like days two three four and however long you can go on for I ordered myself a pair of these um, and I will link them down below they're like satin bonnets super sexy I can tell you my husband's like but I've got to protect these so I need them to last as much as possible and shuffling around on my pillow in my sleep this stops the frizz okay so I'll link them then the next day day two day three day four whatever I've made myself up a little solution of water and the leave-in conditioner. Um, I just put like a tiny amount in um, to a whole thing of water and I will just spritz that on my hair and just re-crunch and it sort of reactivates the gel and creates a secondary cast that later on in the day I can re-crunch out again. So I definitely would recommend getting yourself a little bottle, filling it out with water and some of the leave-in conditioner for that. Are you ready? So what you do is you turn your head over and you loosen the scalp area first. Do that and just literally like fingers on your scalp, just shimmy those roots and then flip your head back and that just lifts it slightly because it will have stuck to your head. Um, so that just like lifts it at the root and then you want to scrunch away that crunch. So mine is slightly damp because I'm in a rush. Um, but by doing this, you break the cast that has formed. And so you scrunch out the gel. And that's why it doesn't matter how much gel you put in particularly because you end up scrunching it all out. And if anything, I find the more I put in, the, the stronger the, the hold. And then you just scrunch it out and you're left with fluffy curls. You know, the, the hardness is gone and just really you know scrunch it the same as you were doing when you were putting in the curls except now you're just you're just lifting out and there is still a little bit of dampness there and I didn't want to leave it too long otherwise it would go dark and then I wouldn't be able to show you but I don't know if you can just see the curls are there now um and I'll be able to you know I, I normally will pin mine back just because my curls or the waves, I should say. I'm, I'm a wavy, not a, a strictly a, a curly. Um, they're still developing. This is only week five for me. So this is only my sort of, probably my seventh wash. Um, and as time goes on, it will just get curlier and curlier. So as you watch my videos from like now onwards, over the next year even, like they'll just get better and better and my hair will just get healthier and healthier. So hopefully you, you know, will notice a difference. But I mean, you can see, I mean, that is better than it was at the beginning of the video. The cut, look, you can just see that's an S wave. Apparently that's an S wave. Um, but there's loads of Facebook groups that just tell you all the different curls that there are out there. Um, but yeah, in essence, that's what we're looking at. That's how it's turned out for this wash. Each wash is different. I have to say the last wash was better, but... I think, uh, you know, it was still slightly damp this time around. I should have left it a little bit longer. But the night is upon us, so I didn't want to leave it too late. But there we go. That's my curls for this week. Um, and I hope that's been really useful for you. Hopefully that's simplified it. I've written a post about it. So if you prefer reading, that will list out the products, list out the process for you step by step. So you can save that onto your phone. And I will list all of the products down below so that you know what I've used. Um, but I'll link Donna's post, as I said, because she's got a, quite a selection of different products. To, to meet different needs and things but um if you like this video give it a thumbs up and do leave a comment down below let me know where you're at with your curls are you big frizzy or are you a bit wavy like me and you want to see how your curls develop let me know if you've got any questions and i will try and answer them but otherwise i will see you next week bye